Hi, this is Ashuni and welcome back. In this video, we will cover some most important interview questions of Java. So without waste time, let me start with very first question. So that is, can we override or overload a static method in Java? So if you uh, have any oops and knowledge, you must be aware about like a static methods, right? So this is a question the interviewer might be chance to ask you like, uh, can we override or overloading this uh, static method? So very short answer is this. No, we can't do this. Like uh, Java will not allow you to do uh, overriding or overloading in terms of a static method. So here I have written a two, three theoretical lines. So do not worry about it. We will cover the theoretical and as well as practical implementation of uh, this question. So what I have written here, you can not override a static method in Java. Uh, we can only hide the static method in Java. Creating a static method with the same name and with the signature is called method hiding, right? As I told you, and we not able to do that because it's not allowed. Why it is not allowing? Because it is a feature of Java. You can't do that. We have other basic reasons about it. Okay. Now jump into the code and let's see how it is not possible. Okay. Here, what I am doing, uh, there is a one class that's called screen and other class is color screen. Color screen class is, uh, let me yeah, explain you, extend a screen class. Okay. And I have created a same method, show method here, public void show and public void show. If I run this program right now, then the child method will be executed, right? Because it, now here we are performing a overriding, right? Let me run that. So run a Java application. So what is the output here? Over, overriding static method in child class. I know this is not a static method. We are, I will make this a static method for completing our question. Okay. But I want to show you without putting here a static statement or a keyword. Okay, so this is an a this statement has executed, but if I put here a static, right, and here also a static, right. Now, what will be the output, right? Let me run this question, this code, not question. So if you run this code, the static method from parent, but here I am creating a object of my child class. And parent class is holding this, right? And I'm calling with the, this reference of show method, right? And, but this reference is a parent class. So it is calling a parent class method, right? So it is a case of something similar to dynamic dispatcher in Java. So this is called a method hiding because it is not showing any error here. And I'm not saying you can like you haven't uh, like given a implementation of this code or something. This is called a method hiding, not a method overloading or a method overriding. This is a case of overriding or overloading. Okay. So what is our next question is? So let me erase this. The next question is very important question because the question uh, two and three are very much similar about it. And uh, there is a hundred percent chance when you appear in your interview, Java interview, and they're going to ask you this question because every time when I appear in my interviews, right? Uh, with the experience of fresh, it doesn't matter if you have a Java knowledge and you have a knowledge of collection, they will ask this question for sure, no doubt. So the question is, what is the, what is Java collection dot short method? Like they want to ask you, like understand, do you have a knowledge of collection or not? They want to ask you, what is the collection dot short, right? And how it is work, how it works? I think if you have a knowledge, then you should in a good position to answer this question because this one answer of this question can uh, decide your knowledge of uh, collection. So, okay, let's first read it uh, or your theoretical concept. We will cover this and then we will move to the practical implementation. So, collection.short is a method of Java collection class. Nice. We know that to short a list, okay, which implements a list interface. Good. Uh, why we are saying this? Because in a list, all elements are comparable because it also implements a comparable interface. That's why we can put a short method on that. This is a basic, right? You know this. Now, because we implement karta hai comparable ko aur sare jitne bhi object hote hain list ke andar, wo comparable hote hain. To wo compare ho jate hain. Isi wajah se wo collection dot short laga ke short ho jate hain. Ab samajh mein aaya? Thik hai. Ab now the collection short has two overridden method. Okay. Why? Because now you ask me, hey Ashwini, why Java given these two methods? 
okay the okay let me give you the information about it first if you don't want a customized shorting order you want a natural uh, shorting order okay you want a natural shorting order in increasing order right or in descending order whatever you want then you can go with this you don't need any comparator okay and if you want a customer sh customized shorting order okay you don't want this natural shorting order because here the already existing code will be executed for you and it will give you a result but here you need to give a shorting code and you need to pass here okay what is the object of this comparator and which code you need to be ex executed we will talk about it and we'll see how it is work okay do not worry about that just understand why they give you these two implementation because according to the customer need or, or you or like developers need they don't want to give the code then you can go here shorting code and if you want your natural shorting order then you can go here okay now come to the code and let understand what is this shorting is and how it is working okay so come to the code and let me open this question two and close the question one okay so what is saying if you go here and say short here this is a natural shorting order right if you can say let me increase the font so you say collection dot short right so let me run this program java application so harry john max Phillips, right now you can able to see it let me take the console down right this is our output now if i just comment this code right if i just comment this code and i can go with the next implementation which we have covered here this one second one so let's move back to the code and this comment it. Let me comment this down. Okay. And uncomment this one. Let me those. Okay. Now let me run this code. Java application. So what it is? Tom Phillips, Max John. And how it is working? Let me tell you that. Here what we have done, we have given the comparator implementation. This is a method implementation which you have given here. We have two choices, okay? You just make one class and implement this comparator and give the compare method implementation and then pass that comparator object here and it will work completely fine, doesn't uh, issue. But the another method is you can give the method implementation here. What you are doing, you are doing the compare, you are giving a compare this is your compare method right and you are giving an implementation of it this is an implementation of it if you want to do a reverse shorting you what you can do a and you can pass here a b okay save it and execute it java application harry john max right so the shorting will be reverse and if you want again a back shorting like that you what you can do java application Term, this is a reverse shorting order right and if i pass a dot compared to b that is a increasing order okay now i hope you understand it and one more thing uh, let me do one more thing uh, i again commented down and i don't want to use this one okay let me comment this and i want to show you something with the stream okay so let me uncomment this one okay so in in case of collection dot short okay this thing we can perform similar with the streams okay but here we what we are saying collection dot short the implementation we can give here right new comparator we can go with the sorry not a stream with a lambda expression okay my bad i just use a another word that uh, i want to show you an example with a lambda expression okay because this is used uh, like uh, frequently in a stream that's why i just use that word okay so lambda expression what you are doing here okay a comma b this is a, your anonymous function right and you giving a, that ma like implementation of anonymous function right if you are not aware about lambda expression i will attach the link in the description okay you can go and watch my uh, java 8 completely that series okay you can understand a better like how we can implement these and how can give the how can we work with the lambda expression in that okay so i will attach the link in description just please check it out and now a comma b and we are giving an implementation that is b comparator to now we are giving implementation like here we are doing this much code here right so we are giving implementation here directly into the method and this is a magic of lambda expression so let me run this application again 
now this is a reverse sorting order now if i give here a not z a and b okay now run this code right so this is a increasing order right now come back to a third question let me raise this now if you understand a second question and the working of collection of collection dot short then i hope this will be a very easy question for you and this is a very 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 important question very 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 important question for you if you are appearing for java interview and you said okay you have worked for like you have worked on java 8 then my friend this question is waiting for you every interviewer asking this question nowadays okay so be aware about it okay so now for attempting this question we have three ways the comparator like i give you an example in previous example right and comparable comparator and stream we will cover all three example in this video do not worry about it okay now get to the code let me close this one and open this one what i have done here the student implements comparable right and the comparable giving a what it do compared to we have given implementation of it and what is doing here okay this i am giving a implementation to the compare to and this we are what we did this dot age and minus this current object of a student and age okay and what i have done here just creating an object and set and restoring into the list and this is a before shorting and this is after shorting the same thing uh, again came right you are giving a implementation of your comparator inside your class that's why you don't need to be pass here and don't need to be go to the second type of implementation because your class already use your custom comparable right so let me run this right let me take this console down and you can easily see that student one two and three right now see the second case what i have done here i have removed the implementation of your comparable and the implementation of compare to method which we have given here now what is the difference between this comparable and compare comparator method right it contains a method a compare to which can uh, and which consists of only one argument and this is compare and with two argument let me show you we created a one class okay because i need to create my custom comparator okay in case of comparable you given an implementation okay with your class only and you given an implementation in your class only for that compare to method okay that's why you don't need to be passed in your collection dot short but in case of in this comparator method i just created another class okay and i give in a separate implementation not in your class in the separate implementation and i use this methodology and i say okay this is a implementation of compare method with two argument object one and object two and i need to be passed this object compare like a student name comparator this com custom comparator object in my collection dot short so here i have passed this now if i run this program the shorting will happen with the help of this custom comparator i hope you understand this right now answer is one two three here answer is two one okay okay now see the third one uh, what is the third one is we have already completed this comparable and comparator third one is stream one so for stream we need a custom comparator to be passed in our shorted method okay so how we done that the same way we done in a previous example we need a custom comparator and we need to pass an object of it so how we will do that a stream list object and put a stream method on it and short it object of comparator collect and collect a to list if you are getting any difficulty to understand it please watch that uh, playlist java 8 playlist i will attach a link in description that will help you to understand all these concepts okay so let me run it the same example okay and this is two one three and one two three 
So these are the most important question which you will face in a interview and we will continue this series so do not worry about it i will collect some important questions and uh, we'll see in a next video till then if you learn something from this video hit the like button and do subscribe i will see you in a next video with some other topic then bye bye